Okay, just uh, to review what we have done during this week, because we have to go to new things. Um, oh, before that, tomorrow we have a Zoom meeting. Okay, I'm going to send you the invitation today. Um, and so at the same hour, of the same hour that we have the class tomorrow, we have, oh, with 9A, we have at 8.40. Okay, so it's going to be at the same, hour, the same hour. You can ask me any questions that you need. We can talk first, of course. We want to know how you are doing. And uh, yeah, I miss you. I miss you guys a lot. So I need your conversations. We are going to do it. Okay, guys? Well, tomorrow you can do any questions that you need about the topics. I think that we are going to have the Zooms every Friday, unless we need uh, to do it again. Okay? We have to talk about that. Okay, during this week we have worked with the zero conditional, the things that uh, tell, talk to us about the real things, yes? And um, that we use what? Do you remember? Oh, look at my board. Look at my board. You see? Ah. Okay, if you get into trouble, what do you do? You call your hero. I don't know who your hero is, but it can help you. It can be whoever you want to. But what is the important thing here? That we have the use of, if you get, you call your hero. What about the next one? If a teacher sends homework, you do it. Huh? If the teacher, a teacher, sends you homework, you do it. Yes? Yes or no? And you see it from there? Okay. So, what, what form did we use here? The simple present. Question. Can we put the if in the middle? You do homework. You do homework. You do homework. If the teacher sends it. You see? Be careful with this. Here we have the comma. And uh, here we have the comma. Here, no comma because if is in the middle. Okay, do you remember that? Good. Just to remind you, I hope that you have already done the activities that you had to do. I'm going to upload a couple of activities on that online. Okay, remember, this is no homework. You have to do it in the classwork. Now, the other thing that you we worked yesterday, it was the pronunciation of these words. The schwa sound, the schwa, this is the schwa sound, it is this one. Plus L at the end of a word. Do you remember what happened with these words? It's animal, example, model. Yes, we have them. And I'm here. There is something that you have to realize about here. Look at this model, example. What happened with these letters? So the words that have these kind of letters with sticks. Look, look at the sticks. You remember how you watch it? Yesterday we worked on that. Sticks or it has tails, okay? They have sticks and tails. It's not always, but it's uh, the most, uh, I don't know, you for, that we can have. You add L-E or E-L or E-L. L-E or E-L, the spelling. The pronunciation is O anyway, but the spelling is L-E or E-L. When the letter doesn't have a stick 
or doesn't have a tail, it can be a L or I L. Can you think of a word that finishes in I L? Think about it, please. Okay, for example, here we have the word tail. Tail. You see, no stick or no tail. The word tail doesn't have tail. That's ironic, yeah? This looks like a joke. But anyway, this it is the sound schwa, schwa, L. The sound schwa, that is the, the name of this word. The, the sound, you remember we have talked about that, that the sound has names. So this is the sound L, tail, but the spelling is the important thing, guys. And sometimes you can find EL, but if, uh, if, if there is not stick or there is no tail, you spell it like that, okay? With AL. Okay, guys, those are the things that you had, okay? And um, for example, let's see, what happened if Go to the activity seven on the book, please, 49. What happens if you get angry? What do you do if you get angry? You, you talk, okay. You go into your room, you stay there. You eat, you just listen to music, okay? There are different ways that we can react, yes? But, but then um, that is the way, okay? What happens if you get hungry? If you get hungry, if you are hungry, what do you do when? What do you do? Remember that we can use when here. We can use when instead of if okay sorry i cannot e erase it so easily because it's a permanent the other ones that don't work here you cannot say anything so it's a permanent marker it's hard to clean it later okay so um what happened when what do you do when you are hungry what happens you eat you eat, okay? I hope that this thing is very, very clear. We have already done the language work workout. You have already done the file page 116, okay? So um, I'm gonna send you a couple of online pages, okay? Tomorrow you can do any question. It is the classwork, it's not homework. Remember, because you, you can see the answers, okay? So you can check it, you can see if you have problems or not, you can do it again, you can, um, I don't know, correct the mistakes. So try to take advantage of that, okay? Next week we are gonna have a little quiz about all these. And remember, check the verbs. You have to check the verbs. You should already know them, okay? Have a nice day.